Friday, the 7-3 Thomasdale Knights face the 5-5 Grassfield Grizzlies for the first week of playoff season. First quarter, nine minutes on the clock. Quarterback Josiah Williams goes for the long pass to running back and Notre Dame commit Chris Tyree, and it's good, placing the ball on the 16-yard line. Williams keeps the ball and runs it to the one-yard line and finishes it off with a touchdown. First of the night, an extra point is no good. Score, 6 nothing Knights. Grizzly ball, the pass is attempted, but intercepted by junior Seamus Jones. Knights possession, Williams runs the ball to gain some yards and takes it home again for his second touchdown of the night. Two-point conversion is no good. 12-0 Dale. Opening play of the second quarter and another Dale interception. This time from senior Kamari Hewlett. The Knights take advantage of another claim possession as D'Angelo Gray runs it in for 69 yards for the touchdown. Extra point goes and it's 19-0 with six minutes left in the half. D'Angelo Gray finds a hole and makes it happen again for another touchdown. The extra point is good, score 26-0. Gray gets his hands on the ball again and runs it 60 yards for the touchdown. They get the extra point and it's 33-0 Knights. Grizzly possession. Quarterback Grant Swinger goes to receiver Dante Ramirez to pick up some yards. Another pass to receiver Ethan Buenviaje Puts the ball right outside the 10. And junior Treshawn Washington catches the ball in the end zone to put the Grizzlies on the board. Extra point is good and the score is 33-7 Thomasdale at the half. Third quarter, Williams with a big carry just past the 50. Williams goes to receiver Antonio Goins for the touchdown. Gray takes in the two-point conversion, and it's 41-7 Knights with 11 minutes and 5 seconds left in the quarter. Swingers makes the pass, and Williams comes again with the big pick, and Knights have possession of the ball. Williams, dominating tonight, carries the ball to gain some yards, and hands it off to running back Jordan Branch for the touchdown. They get the extra point and it's 48-7. Grassfield answers with a pass from Swinger to tight end Trey Lancaster for the touchdown. Extra point in, 48-14. Grizzly ball again, pass to Washington and he takes it just outside the 10. And pass to Ramirez for the back-to-back -back touchdown. Extra point good, 48-21 Knights. After the punt return, pass to Branch and he runs it all the way in for 43 yards. Extra point in and it's 55 to 21 with 6 minutes and 33 seconds left in the game. Swinger passes to Boyne Viaje and it's good. He takes it in for the 80 yard score. They get the extra point and 55 28 Knights will be the final score. The Knights are on a four game winning streak. And a lot of that success can be credited to senior quarterback Josiah Williams, who scored 19 touchdowns in the last four games. He stepped up when the team needed him and has dominated alongside D'Angelo Gray for the majority of the ninth season. He credits effort and chemistry for their recent triumphs. Maybe more, more of a chemistry. Okay. You feel me? That's, that's bringing more touchdowns and, and more visible things. You know what I mean? But other than that, no. Head coach Kevin Tucker pushed Williams to make the step, and it's been progression ever since. 
Josiah has really stepped up into a, um, he was already a great leader, but he's already stepped up and he's taking control of the offense. Um, you know, early in the year, we were moving him to receiver, quarterback, receiver, quarterback. Um, in the last few weeks, we basically said, hey, look, man, you've got to step up. You've got to play quarterback more, run the ball more. Um, you know, Chris being out, we needed an extra guy on the field that could to be that, that deep run, home run threat, because D'Lo was getting double and triple covered and, you know, Basically, Josiah stepped up to the plate and took, took control. Um, you know, versus Motoka, he was catching some big balls and also throwing some balls. Um, didn't what he last week, he you know, played out of his mind. Um, and then tonight, you know, again, you know, anything we ask him to do, uh, you know, we have a lot of RPOs built into what we do. And, you know, he was making the correct reads on all of them. And like I said, you, know, you can't ask any more from your quarterback than that. The Knights take on 8-3 and three Ocean Lakes next week in week two of the playoffs. For Village News, I'm Siobhan Johnson. We did not get defeated! We did not get defeated!